DJ, play a little something while I make sure I got everything right on my end, huh? Yo, are you a hip-hop junkie for real, nigga? All right, ladies and gentlemen, our next battle coming to the stage. Would you please start clapping your hands right now for Robbie Goodwin? I got the tongue that is outdone in the one from the hey. What's up, man? What's up, Nico? How you doing, man? Brother, I can't complain. Excited to have you here. Excited to have your opponent here. Introducing him now to the stage. Would you please start clapping your hands for Stephen Bowles? Fuck. Well, I lose already. How the fuck do I top that? I feel like I'm in a fucking 80s hair metal show now. Jesus Christ. All I have is crazy eyes. I don't know how to... Ah. Ah. I ah. will not keep y'all away from this. Gentlemen, I don't care who want to go first. Somebody just go first. Y'all give them a round of applause. Let's All roll. Right. All right, I'll go first. Thank you guys. It's an honor to be here to roast the rough draft of Jimmy Fallon. I'm stoked <laughs> about this. Oh my god, that's uh, so great. I'm oh my still, god, the I'm roots are here. I'm still telling the fucking joke. Oh my god. I'm still oh my god. Telling. We got a great I'm show still, tonight. Oh Let me tell you, the roots. I'm still telling a fucking joke. Do not talk over me. I'm not one of your Tinder dates. All right, <laughs> shut the fuck up. God damn. This guy's so Robbie's great. family is Afghani, so it means two completely different things when we say that we're stoners. Ah, nice. Yeah. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Uh, you might remember Steven from hanging out too long after he sells you weed. Uh, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> You're like if Charles Manson got friend zoned by his cult. <laughs> So great! Not the bad. roots are here tonight. <laughs> All right, that, at least I have a cult. Thank you, Ross, with no friends. Uh, <laughs> hold on, don't do a shitty hey, impression. Hey. We were on Chill a break. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Robbie loves watching The Sopranos and his sister's middle school choir. <laughs> we were on a break. <laughs> Me and my sister were on a break. <laughs> Steven, you seem like you slip roofies into kombucha. <laughs> it comes from the earth, man. Jesus Christ. Robbie does a lot of impressions. He actually spends all day walking around his apartment practicing his Robin Williams impression, which is funny because now all of his neighbors have killed themselves. Oh, yes, thank you, Steven, yes. <laughs> Mamacita, all right. Uh, Steven was arrested at a Black Lives Matter rally, but in his defense, he only shot those protesters in self-defense. <laughs> I call him Kyle Ritten Tent. <laughs> I didn't get that last one. Go ahead. Give him a round of applause, Woo! All right. This has been a good one against Jesus and his first bygone disciple. It's been great. <laughs> Fucking Jesus and Judas on stage, Nate. <laughs> Jesus and Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. So look, ladies and gentlemen, not only do we have the judges and they're going to do their thing for this round, but there's another judge I would like to introduce to y'all. Ladies and gentlemen, our fourth judge meant to get here earlier. She showed up now. You know her from while and out. Please welcome Maddie Smith. It's kind of easy when you listen to the G-Dub sound. Thank you. I got the sound for your ass and it's easy to see. What's up? God, chilling. That was crazy. You guys are both so funny and ugly. <laughs> Yo, roasted, motherfucker. <laughs> Ouch. Yeah. Unfortunately, though, kill me for that. Right, yeah, so white dudes. Maddie is going to be our fourth judge. She ain't going to judge this round, but yeah, that's a fourth one. Have to have her. And now, y'all, Jake Williams, oh. what do you think? Uh, yeah, this looks like a very 
heated argument between a lesbian couple. Uh, I, <laughs> I like that. Uh, <laughs> I feel like you're both wearing like the shoes I wore before I got made fun of for them on Wild Out and had to switch it. <laughs> Uh, but uh, that was that was awesome. You both killed it. I would give it to Robbie by hair, but yeah, I can't wait to see the rest. Uh, great job. Yeah, no, it's, it is interesting to watch the lead singer and the drummer get into a fight. But <laughs> don't worry, you'll get the band back together, boys. I believe in you. Uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna give it to Stephen by a hair. Yeah, you were both so funny that I know you're both deeply broken and gonna die tragically. Um, but I, yeah, I know, you're sad. Um, but I, I'm i gonna give it to Robbie only because of the Garufi <laughs> kombucha. <laughs> Give it up for Juggalo Testosterone. Uh, <laughs> Steven, if you're here, who's talking to a bored woman about Joe Rogan? <laughs> That's cool, man. You ever do DMT? Uh, <laughs> Steven told me he loves the Grateful Dead. Oh, sorry, I read that wrong. Steven told me he's grateful George Floyd is dead. <laughs> I didn't say it, he said it. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I have, one, I have one more. Do you want? Uh, it's, it's three. Yeah. I, oh, okay. Uh, Steven's wife is from Spain. Her heritage shows every night when he watches her get gored by a bull. <laughs> All right, this is pretty good. All right, let's wrap up this fight. Robbie's hairline's got to get the fuck out of here. Uh, <laughs> Robbie works very hard on his impressions, which is surprising because his first impression is always, God damn, this guy sucks. Uh, uh, Robbie is obsessed with mobsters and the mafia, but the only convict you remind us of is Jared Fogle. <laughs> All right, one more. Uh, Robbie recently did the booster shot, which is just what he calls nutting on someone in a high chair. Whoa, whoa, they getting nasty. They getting nasty. I can't even step on stage with you after that nasty shit. That nigga said, the Yo, you do you see do you see this guy's face right here? He, yo, yo, he really looked at you like the fuck did he just say boost the shot? He looks like my disappointed father. <laughs> it might be, yeah. Dad. Give him another round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Great work. We gonna go, Maddie. We gonna go, Maddie, Nick, Jake. Boom. Oh, oh shit. Um, dude, that booster shot joke might have taken the round. That was fucking gay as hell. Um, I liked it. I had pictured it. And now I'm a little wet myself. So I think that was good. Um, yeah, I, I think I'm going to give it to Steven because of the booster shot. However, I did like what Robbie had to bring to the table. A couple nice, nice fight between two Starbucks baristas. So uh, you guys are doing your thing. I know you're working on a union. So let's keep it moving. Uh, we'll go, I'm going to go with Steven because of the booster joke. Yeah, that booster joke was fantastic. Robbie, I really did like that George Floyd joke because you convinced the audience that you were not happy about it as well. Yeah. But, uh, it was fucked up what he said. Yeah. I can't believe he said that. I know. It was very convincing, my friend. I got to agree. But uh, yeah, so I'm going to have to give that one to Steven as well, dude. Good shit. I was just so grateful that I don't have to touch either of you that I blanked out and I didn't... I like didn't hear most of it, but I I did think the George Floyd thing was so funny and again covering up that you are clearly racist. So I am I am going to give it to Robbie again. Um yeah, this was great. I'm I'm very impressed. I feel like Steven has better hair than all my ex-girlfriends combined, but uh this, this was a great it is nice. matchup. It's like 
What and, do you use, head and shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> impressions. Three dollar shit at Rite Aid is good. Yeah, it's I feel like I'm watching like impressions versus extensions or something. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, no, that was a great round. I'd give it to Steven. I can't wait to see the next round. I'm not mistaken, we go to one more, right? Yes, sir. Y'all, first time tonight officially, we go into the third round. Three jokes, tit for tat. You start first in the first round, right? Yeah. Yep, Steven's going to get us started. Give him All big right. energy, y'all. Let's do it. All right, there we go. Give it up for resting startup face, everybody. Uh, <laughs> Robbie has actually never been in a fight, which is such a huge waste of this punchable face. So. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, Steven beatboxes and plays the ukulele. <laughs> Already funny. Uh, I, re I respect that you mastered the whitest and blackest way to be annoying. <laughs> True. All right. As you see, Robbie, Robbie moves around a lot on stage. This dude cannot hold still. He calls himself a podcaster because every time he goes to the bathroom, it's a Twitch stream. <laughs> that was just offensive. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Steven used to clean the bathrooms here, and to this day, he loves working with shit material. <laughs> He's like retarded Goodwill hunting. <laughs> Let me solve your fucking jokes for you real quick. All right. <laughs> fucking Robbie. Oh, Robbie looks like he can't come without yelling, Boom shakalaka! <laughs> <laughs> jokes on you, I can't come at all. <laughs> Ladies, uh, <laughs> oh, we were on a break. All right. Uh, <laughs> you're going to laugh after every joke? Or? Yeah. All right. Because this last one's, if they hated the Floyd one, they're going to hate this. Uh, <laughs> whatever. Go down with the ship, I guess. Uh, <laughs> I'm just filibustering. All right. Steven's a racist hippie. When he, <laughs> when he says hang 10, he means black people from a tree. <laughs> It, not me! I didn't say it! Boo. The roots are here! I told you they would hate it. One racist guy liked it. All right, Dad, Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to have fun up here. God damn it. Here's my favorite part about all this. I didn't say nothing. <laughs> all, all I was going to say is give it up for him. <laughs> 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 that nigga said I got insecure. <laughs> <laughs> Judges said, I don't care. This is who. I mean, we well, we know that neither of you are ever going to be accused of Me Too. That is for sure. No woman would ever be like, ah, oh, he touched me. Never. That's never going to happen. Um, I think I have to go with Steven for this round. Yes, uh, I got to say, Robbie, it is kind of impressive that, that you can come at all. That's a whole thing. And... That's incredible because you can't come. The woman doesn't come. No one goes anywhere, it seems like. <laughs> but I, I'm impressed by you, Robbie. I thought that was a really good round, man. I'm going to give it to Robbie, you know? Um, yeah, that was a great round. I liked how good Robbie is at acting out Stephen's punch last. Uh, that was really fun. Uh, but, uh, but no, this was really close. I liked at the end when you were like, you guys are going to hate this. And you're like, see, you hate it. But... Uh, but uh, <laughs> It was very close. I would give it to Steven, but yeah, great battle. Okay, so here's the tea, Robbie. Jacob and I are on Wild and Out, so legally we can't vote for you because of that joke. Because that was like so inappropriate, and we're gonna get fired. I mean, Jacob got fired three seasons ago, but I can't. Yo, fucking Rose, he's back. He's back sometimes, but um, so legally I cannot vote for you, and uh, I also don't want to vote for Steven because you both look like you list black friends on one hand. Like, hey, no, I know this fucking guy I work with, and wait, let me think of another, uh, Bill Cosby. So, so uh, I'm gonna go with Steven just morally. I have to go with Steven. So yeah, that's me. And Steven Balls takes it. 